Hey everybody, Nick here, also known as The Bearded Housewife, and welcome to another card making video. Today I have a really cute box card for you. This is my spring day box card. How fun and colorful is this card? You have that fun bicycle with the sweet little basket there full of flowers. You have flowers here on the bottom. There is the birdhouse right here. You've got some fun foliage kind of there whispering in the background, and then those cute little butterflies there. It folds nice and flat for mailing. There's a spot on the back for your message. And of course I include an envelope as well. Now this card is super simple to put together and I can't wait to show it to you. Before we get started, make sure to hit like and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any card making fun. And with that, let's get to it. Step one, get the SVG cut file. Okay, here we are at my website, thebeardedhousewife.com. If you don't have an account already, you can click the sign up button and you'll be brought to a page with all of our different membership tiers. We have free, basic, and premium memberships. You can take a look at the different tiers and select which one is right for you. For now, I'm gonna click sign in. I'll go ahead and add my credentials and log in. And now I've logged into my account. To access the file libraries, you can use the Files tab in the main navigation bar. Now this file is free, which means that it's available for all membership tiers. Those with a free membership will be able to select the free files page and get the file there. Basic and premium members can select the file library and get the cut file there. For this project, you're going to want to look for number 589, that is the Spring Day Box Card. Go ahead and download the file to your computer, make sure to unzip the file, and then we can open up Cricut Design Space. Step 2. Upload the design to Cricut Design Space. Okay, now that we have a new project open in Cricut Design Space, we can go ahead and click Upload upload image and browse. Find where we downloaded the file onto our computer and click open and upload. Highlight the image and click add to canvas. Step three, convert score lines and any text. Now that the project has been brought into our canvas, we can ungroup the design. We have some converting to do to some of the score lines. So let's scroll down the layers panel and find the envelope. Highlight the score lines, change those to score, highlight the group and attach. We need to do the same thing for the outside box piece. Highlight the score lines, change those to score, highlight the group and attach. And lastly, for the inside tab piece, highlight the score lines, change those to score, highlight the group, and attach. So we've converted the score lines for the envelope, the outside box piece, and the inside tab piece. Once those are all done, go ahead and click Make It. And you can see the different mats for this project. Click Continue. I'll be using a variety of medium weight cardstock. I'll go ahead and get everything cut out, and I'll see you when it's time to assemble. Step four, cut out the design.
Step 5. Assemble your card. Okay, now that I have all the different pieces cut out, it's time to go ahead and start to assemble. So the first thing that we're going to do is just fold and burnish along the score lines on our outside box piece. Just like that. I'll set that to the side. Now let's go ahead and mat and layer our messaging panel. We can set that to the side. Now let's take our inside tab piece and fold and burnish along those score lines. Okay, set that one to the side. Now we can go ahead and layer our front cover panel. Now I do have a layering guide within the download that will help visualize how to layer these together. But we're going to start with the green, then the yellow, pink, and then dark blue. I'll layer this together and then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm finished. And there is our fun front cover panel. I'm going to set that to the side for just a minute. Let's go ahead and flip the outside box piece over. We can attach our messaging panel to the back. Now flip that outside box piece over and we can go ahead and add our inside tab piece. I'm going to start here on the left and add glue to that left tab. And now I'm just going to attach it here to that left side. Now I'm going to repeat that for the right side. Just fold that piece over. Just like that. Now I'm going to add glue to this left tab here on the front and attach our front cover panel to that side. Go ahead and open that up and add glue to the right tab. and then attach the front cover panel to the right side. Give the card a nice fold. And there we go. And now we can add our little butterflies. I'm going to add a few little dots here to the inside portion of that outside box piece. You could add some foam squares to these to really give some dimension. Make the butterflies really pop. There we go. I'm going to set the card to the side so that everything can go ahead and dry. Let's go ahead and make the envelope. For the envelope, we're going to fold and burnish along the score lines. Go 
Go ahead and add glue to the outer edge of the inlay panel. Add the inlay over the cutout on the envelope flap. Spin the envelope around. Fold those side flaps in. Add our glue to the bottom of the side flaps. With your thumbs, go ahead and push up and press. And that forms our envelope. And our card is all set. Wasn't this so simple to put together? I love the little scene that it creates. Super, super fun. Not only for springtime, this would make a perfect Mother's Day card. There's so many different occasions that this would be perfect for. I hope that you like it. If you make this card, I hope that you post it in our Facebook group. We have thousands of card making and paper crafting friends who love to motivate and support each other, and we would love to see your creations. I have a link down below for you to check it out. Until next time, I'm Nick, I'm the Bearded Housewife, and I will see you at the next card making video. Bye!